is um. I'll hook up the mic. Yeah. Oh shit, that's way too loud. Whoopsie. Was oh, that your interface? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Was oh, that your interface? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Okay. I don't know what you can hear. Was oh, that your interface? Um. Take this bullshit off. Uh. It's fine. Okay. I kind of want to play around on this thing too. It's like fun. Oh yeah, that thing's fun. <laughs> See, this thing's also fun, it, um, but it's like a oh, pain no. in the ass. I have curtain. Forgot you had those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's um. Giant yeah, I'll play so. some of this. Hopefully it's not the main. Yeah, I'll probably shoot some. It's also connected to my computer here, so I could load like. There's a like this is known as like FM synthesis is 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 um it's a frequency modulated synthesis. Yeah. So basically, it has like each oscillator has um has like a, a sine wave, and then you modify that sine. Wave. It's basically like, um, do you know what an LFO is? No. It's uh it stands for low frequency oscillator. So it's like the frequency is so low, it doesn't change the pitch or anything. It just changes like the shape of the wave. Oh. So that's how it modulates the sound um, by using such a low frequency. So FM synthesis is just basically combining a bunch of uh, low frequency oscillators to make a sound, and that's like what the DX9 and the DX7, and basically every Yamaha DX synthesizer is like that. Interesting. Um, so yeah, I think I have it set up. So I can do that here. Also, what I'll do is um, put that there. there this go. is basically just a basic electric piano sound. So it's like, if it would play, why? Oh. What the fuck? Yeah, for a second. Oh, sometimes it like shits the bed. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why it does that, but. Yeah, it's it's it's, sound. it's like kind of just a like electric piano thing. If it fucking would work, is that the? Is it? I don't know what. I'm pretty sure it's. Is it some <laughs> Let's mute that light. I think the jack might be like fucked up oh, or something. I gotcha. Um, so I kind of just have to deal with it. There we go. But let's uh lower that a little bit. Basically, just like a Rhodes kind of sound. Um, and then there's shit like that. This is more of like an emphasized Rhodes.
the thing on the synthesizer is just like but it sounds a lot better on that I think yeah that, I love that original the first one you had like I'm hearing uh helps mute the mute the bass better and you, if you take it out like I really don't when I play with the sponge I don't play the G string at all because it like oh, just cool. completely deadens the sound I, say, I wonder if, I, if you could um but yeah Basically, there's, there's like a whole. This is known as the worst FM synthes synthesizer ever. The DXR. The DX9, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> but it is, it's known as the the worst FM synthesizer, um, and like the it's like bigger brother. The DX7 is like known as the best, but they're functionally the same exact the synthesizer. The only thing is this one has less like there's no velocity, which means like when you hit the keys like it differently. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't like, it adjust all. the volume or tone at all. Um, this has less operators, which are the things that, which are the things that modify the wave, um, and less algorithms, which are the way that the, um, operators interact with each other, um, less preset, like, preset options here, um, and also it doesn't have a cartridge for you, where you can load in extra sounds which i mean now that we have like computers and shit and it's 2021 the cartridges are kind of useless because literally like people have loaded those sounds from the cartridge onto the computer and uploaded them online so it's like why does it matter um but yeah let's see what See, that's what I'm saying about really trash sounds. No one wants to hear that. I can edit it so it's like... That's a little better. It sounds like... It sounds like you just opened up a game. It sounds like a fucking ringtone. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that. Why? Why would anyone ever want to listen to that? That's kind of cool, but it's like very specific. Yeah. The, 
the level just went all red. Oh. <laughs> but he played that one, he's like, gay. cool is um sequencing it helps give me like really cool ideas i know i love that but uh on i bought another synthesizer it's not here yet um but it's based off of uh like a really famous synthesizer called the juno 60 um and it's like just this tiny version of the juno 60 like that big and i'm just gonna like put it right here with velcro connect it with midi to this keyboard so i can control it with this keyboard oh. um and it has an arpeggiator in it which basically, like, you play a chord and it, it'll sequence that chord. So if I do, like, this, or, like, I'll do it on this one because it's easy to sound. So if I play yeah, that, it, it'll go like. Yeah, and you like change the Or it'll go. And I can do the, um, like, if I had it, I could play the Stranger Things theme, which is. Yeah, yeah. With the sequencer? I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of... Oh, 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 wait. I had something... Okay, okay. Hear me out. I want to... Do you know who Mac Ayers is? No. Um, I want to write something along his style. Let me just see if I can find... Uh... Oh. I thought that was the synthesizer and it fucked me up for a second. I was like, why? Yeah, I can do that. Let me just find a sound that'll work. Yeah, this is basically what I do whenever I use this synthesizer. I just go through, literally load like a, a set of patches onto it, and then I sit here for like four hours and just go like, and just do like. Is this 
you or is that the other guy? This is me. Oh, okay. I fucking like talked out. to the other the
Oh, are you getting sound on your headphones? Yeah. I just plugged this in. Figures what we can do. Play that, what you were just playing, on the lower keyboard, because we'll be able to hear it.
how do you change like the sound of it? <laughs> like the, what do you tone and, and what are you trying to yeah. like? So this is a filter. It's basically a tone knob. So um, here, this is this is the mixer for. So this is oscillator one. This is like they're separated by the bars here. This is oscillator two. So oscillator one is what we had before, which is just um, a saw wave. <laughs> Just um yeah, just hit the thing. And then that's just a plain saw wave. And if I do that, it'll watch how it changes. Oh, it's like you have all the signs. Yeah. So and then what I can do is turn that down. The resident the resonance takes the highest peak of the of each um each cycle. Like so each wave it'll take the highest uh point and then increase it. Soloing. So if you do this, like I can go like 
this is what I did for a coffee house uh, our senior year. I was just like. <laughs> it's easier to, to use than that one. That's so, how much was this thing? Uh, 200. That's fucking expensive. Yeah, these. This is like, I would have so much They've gone up thing. in price since then, but I bought it used on eBay. Um... Let's see what they're on for reverb right now. And there's they make other ones like this one right here, which is right on their front page. Is um that's the Korg uh mini log. This okay. is the monologue, so you can only it's monophonic. You can only play one note at a time. This is um this is polyphonic. Has uh it's it's four up to four voices, so four notes at the same time. Um, it's, uh, but it's double the keyboard size and, but it has, uh, like half the size sequencer. So this is, if you're doing sequencing stuff, that's better cause it has more <clears throat> notes, yeah. obviously. Um, how do you, so how do you write, I'm assuming you have write and edit and whatnot. Like how do you control um, the sequencer? So the sequencer, you basically, this is all the sequencer controls. So basically each one of these is a note, mm -hmm. um, and then I can like take them out like that, and then I can play. Oh, and can you like put them back in? Yeah. So if I, I can do it like yeah in real time. But, um, oh, that's. And then record is just how you change the notes, so it'll like it'll cause it to start blinking. Um, uh, and then like that's the if that's the one you want to change and then once you like record like if I hit record I'm just gonna use the same note it'll go on to the next one uh -huh. um, uh, rest I don't know what that does I think it yeah it just cuts the sound off I have no idea maybe you have to do that while Play with that, I'll grab the manual. <sighs> They're going for 240 right now, that's the cheapest one on oh, reverb. Really? They've gone up in price since uh, since I bought I bought this uh, summer going into our senior year. Oh the shift does and there's ways you can like change the sequence to like so the filter will like do shit automatically while you're um while it's playing but it's like stupid hard to figure it out because it's all it, like you have to like change everything on that tiny fucking screen. Um, let's just look up shift. Shift button. Um, chord. I 
holding down the shift button as you press other selections, you can access the number of convenient features quickly. Uh, so it's basically just like a shift key on a keyboard, or like a function, like FN key. Oh. Um, what was the state of the front panel? Oh, that's actually, damn dude, I wish I actually like knew what that did. That's actually pretty. So yeah, it's like not switches each step on and off. When in play mode, buttons one through sixteen. Pre hold shift and press one of those sequencer buttons. Uh, one of these ones. I have no idea what that does. Uh -huh. Press play. <laughs> says switches each step on and off but like that does that without any shit I don't know Whoa, oh my god dude that's fucking insane what I never knew that if you hold like so basically remember when I was telling you about LFOs and stuff yeah the LFO for all this is right here and this is basically like on um if you're like on your chorus pedal, the depth, that's basically what that knob is right yeah. there. So basically, if I hold shift and do it, it changes it from like, cause basically it's like, this is zero, uh -huh. this is a hundred. But if I hold shift and do it, I can get it to negative values. What? <laughs> the I okay, so you, you, you take over and show me. Okay. Some shit, some core shit. Are these still there? Yeah. Okay, so let's... So I can for demonstration. I, I didn't know how to get a second thing running, like a second oscillator going. Uh, just right, right here. These notches oh, right oh, here. Oh. Okay, so basically that's the start of uh, like what you just saw there. Mm -hmm. If I go like this, see how it's doing that by itself. Oh, I hear it. Yeah, I hear it. So that's because of this right here. The um. Envelope gener EG stands for envelope generator. So basically, I can change what the this is nothing. Like it'll just cut it. It'll still do that, but as soon as I let go, it cuts off. Yeah. Um, this I just hit it and it and it does it by itself. This is. Or actually no, this I can hold it and it stays there. And then I'll stay it at the saw wave. This. I said only do it once. Yeah. This it'll um. After uh, it's done, the envelope sequence, it'll just like cut the wave off. So that's what the decay is there. So if I hold that, so basically this is the attack of the note. So I can move that up so it takes a long time for the note to generate. So it swells up like that. Oh, that's and then so this cool. is the so you can get really cool stuff like you know um, heart to heart by Mac DeMarco. Yeah, that's where you go like. Like that kind of like where that oh where the, the synth is like oh yeah yeah shit like that and then this is basically how the fuck is it what happened be this here yeah okay so yeah that was a low frequency oscillator doing its thing so basically yeah that's just a normal mm -hmm. um then i 
can change the um I don't know what int stands for, but I just think of it as like the volume or the depth of the effect. Yeah. So I can do it for pitch, pitch two, which I think is um would correspond to the other like, oscillator, but it's not on right now. Mm -hmm. And then the cutoff, which you have to I would have to go like this. So see how it's oh, like yeah, kind yeah. of seeing when it cuts it, yeah. So that's changing the pitch. Yeah. And then if I do the low frequency oscillator, um, so basically this is the type of, um, So this is the type of um, wave that I'll use. So basically, you'll be able to hear it. Um, that's obviously the rate and the level of whatever. And uh, the one shot, so the mode is, is um, how it'll do it. So one shot, it'll only do it one time. Slow, it'll just do. Yeah, that's that's what it'll do with the saw. So it'll yeah. do it every time. If I change it to the triangle, then it'll go up and down. Cause like, see how the saw is like, it'll go down and mm -hmm. then it'll just restart it'll straight right up. Out, yeah. But if I do uh, triangle, it'll go back up, and down, forth. Up, so it'll down. go. And then oh. uh, square will be like basically on and off. Uh -huh. Oh, that's yeah, I see. I like that though. And then you can change it to faster. And then you can do this some really whack shit. Whoa, dude, look like a fucking staircase. Yeah. Because at the point, at that point, like once you're in the fast setting, then that's when the low frequency oscillator starts affecting the wave way more. Um, rather than if you're in the slow setting. That sounds so fun. Like purr. And then Ooh. shape adjust the um Yeah, cut 
cut off adjusts the cut off of the filter, so that's why it's like, wah, 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 like, like, and then shape will, um, will change the shape of the wave, so it's basically adjusting, like, these knobs, um, and then pitch will change the pitch. It's really cool if you are kind of that, like, detuned sound. Yeah. But that sounds cool. Um... Post some cool shit on TikTok for that. Dude, there is a, a whole like, like section. Yeah. Synthetic. I I've seen it like well they show up on my for you page, but um yeah, it's kinda cool. There are some people who have like crazy, like intense like synthesizer rigs, like mm -hmm. like it's it for some people it's like all they do. Um it's crazy. I mean I can see how you get so like Yeah, I know. Like my dad dude, it's like I could honestly <laughs> I could have sat and watched you do that for. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to my dad. Um, like a, this was a while ago, but he was uh telling me he's like, how many like how many keyboards do you have now? And then I was like, I was like, oh, I have this one and this one and this one. And he's like, you have a lot of keyboards for a guitar player. And I was like, <laughs> You're like, I'm I'm evolving. Yeah, exactly. Um, here let let's look at the uh the synthesizer subreddit. Look at some people's fucking um setups. So like people, this guy has like three right here. This is basically a, a MIDI controller connected to this right here, which is basically a, um, a Moog Model D. This <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's like probably pretty good. Um, this is like the Korg. Um, these are cool. The Korg uh, Volca series, like they're just little units like that. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of cool. There's people who have synths Holy like that, shit. which are like fucking insane. What do you? How, wh I don't even know how to use it, but it's all they they they're basically building them. Basically, it's a bunch of like see there's screws here on the side. Yeah. It's a bunch of like just like empty racks, and you screw like the modules into it, and then you all connect them with these like um Fuck. like this guy um. He did. This is all on um, on a Moog synthesizer or Moog, um, and there's a yeah. Like this is him recording that album. Oh shit! Like and there's just like that one keyboard controlling all this shit. Holy and then crap. he got. Uh, hopefully it'll play. Actually, I'll just do it on on YouTube instead. Um, got this out of it Like, there's, 
is I've never fucking heard of that. It's it's really good. I have it. They um it was so basically the story of that album is this guy just made this fucking album like in his house with that one synthesizer and a reel to reel, and um it was only available. Uh, the only way you could get it is um you could buy it at this one like plant store. Um, and then there, that was one way you could get it. The other way you could get it is if you went to this specific department store and you bought a mattress. Uh, so those are the only <laughs> two ways you can get the album back in like 1976 or whenever it came out. Yeah, I mean, I imagine, was this guy like, like he was, big no, not really. Like, like he was just like some guy making music. And then yeah, like, he was mostly a composer and he would work with a lot of other, like he had some of his own albums and stuff. Um, but uh, he would like work on other albums and a lot. Um, but he, uh, 